Welcome back. Caring for elders or those who are unable to care for themselves is a growing concern, especially as the baby boom generation moves into old age. Joining us to discuss options for in-home care is Dwight Davis, who runs Senior Helpers out on the Seacoast. Mr. Davis, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's talk about this generational change we're seeing right now. What's going on in our society as the baby boomers reach old age? Well, communities are challenged having to make changes in terms of housing, in terms of transportation, in terms of care. There, there aren't enough facilities to handle all of the seniors who are aging. And first of all, most people want to age in their homes, Adam. That's the most important thing. And what does Senior Helpers do to sort of fill that gap to make sure people can stay in their homes for as long as possible? Senior Helpers is a full service, non-medical in-home care company. Whether you need one hour service per day or someday, or 24 sevens, we can handle that. We take care of things like running errands, uh, cooking, cleaning. Uh, if people have more uh, in-depth needs like toileting or bathing, we can take care of those items, those things too. And staying positive is a big value of the company. Uh, explain why this is so important for people as they age, that positive, uplifting outlook. Not only, not only staying positive, but having companionship. Oftentimes as people grow older, they lose a companion. And family is spread far and wide. Uh, oftentimes, after a couple of months of uh, a client working with our caregiver, they tell us that, Dwight, that caregiver is like family to me. And it keeps them upbeat and it, it allows them to continue the quality of their lives. All right. And a quick important note not many former NBA players here in New Hampshire, Dwight, you played for the Cavs and the Warriors. What's it like seeing those guys compete in the finals last year? Uh, it was very good. I didn't tell my friends in the Bay Area that I, that I, I was pulling for the Cavs. I didn't tell my ca my friends in, the, in <laughs> Cleveland that I pulled for the for the Warriors. So well, I wasn't awesome. winning either way. All right, Dwight. Thanks for joining us today. Adam, we really appreciate thank you so it. much. Thank you.